Kids must recognize you because— Oh, kids they, love me. They love you. It's so wild. Never in my wildest dreams did I think children would like me. But I guess they don't see adults having fun very often. Like, usually it's like a parent being like, don't do that. Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, blah, 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 here's a cake. <laughs> They're like, I like that big lady. That adult's fun. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's why they like me. Um, but kids are also so honest, so I, I take it as a huge compliment. Oh, they don't lie. No. If a kid doesn't like you, a kid will say, I don't yeah, like you. Yeah, I don't like you at all, but they seem to really like me. So whenever adults are like, you're not funny, I'm like, <laughs> children think I am. <laughs> so you're wrong. <laughs> That's what I say to people. <laughs> I have my own version of that. Well, people with very low intelligence like me. <laughs> People whose prefrontal cortex hasn't formed yet really love me. <laughs> so there. Accident victims. Yeah. <laughs> People that lost a part of their skull in a hunting accident <laughs> think I'm hilarious. <laughs> it gets very, very specific. So you handle it pretty well. It sounds like you're doing, you're yeah. doing well with all of this. John Cena once said to me, because I was like, oh, I, don't you hate it when people are like, I can't see you. He was like, no, Nicole. That's what people know about me. They're just trying to connect. They don't know me really. They they just know what I show them. And they, when they say it to me, I'm happy because they're taking it in and they like me. And that's nice, isn't it? And I was like, I know. Oh. I didn't realize John Aww. Cena is such a font of wisdom. He, oh, yeah. he really he is. He sounds like the, an oracle in a Greek <laughs> tragedy, you know? He kind of is. Let me tell you the truth. <laughs> John Cena? Mm -hmm. now, I've heard he, I've, I mean, I've met him and he seems like a very intelligent yeah. Nice guy. Very but I nice. love that he's that grounded. Yeah. And then when people complete the course, they'll be like, oh, you can't see me. Oh, man, I wanted to finish this just to meet you. And he'll be like, meet me. Oh, all right. I'll come down and I'll meet you. And they're like, oh, I didn't know that. And he'll like go down and he'll like meet them and hug them and talk to them. He's the nicest person I've ever met in my whole life. And it's also so funny when people complete the course, they're always like, Jacita, I love you. And I'm like, I'm sitting here too. I'm waiting for a compliment. Do you want to give me one? <laughs> it's like, you know, John Cena totally eclipses you. He's I, I find it, I'm the same way. I always find it refreshing when things bring me back down to earth like that. Because mm -hmm. I find that in life, whenever you have a moment of, oh my God, I really enjoy your work, it's quickly followed by someone else saying something that takes you in the exact amount <laughs> that the, the other person raised you, uh -huh. it takes you in the other direction, equal and opposite. Yeah. And it balances out the universe. <laughs> yeah, after stand-up shows, ladies like to be like, oh, you inspire me to like show my arms. Fat ladies don't like to show their arms. So they'll be like, you help me with that. And then their boyfriends will be like, and I think you're pretty funny. Didn't know who the fuck you were before. Yeah. <laughs> but like, now I kind of know. And like, you should keep doing this. You're good at it. And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> so I was at a party recently and there were some interesting people at this party. Um, and it was, uh, it was, I won't say where it was, but uh, just people that I don't think are around showbiz folk much. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and someone said to me, well, I have to say I'm a big fan of your work, even though I don't understand your sense of humor. <laughs> and I said, excuse me? And he said, uh, I really, uh, I really, am, I'm a fan big fan. Uh, I really don't like your sense of humor, but I'm a fan. And I don't understand. Well, yeah, huh? And this, guy, this this person was in their 70s, I think. And he said, well, you've got that, you know, that sense of humor you have. And I, it's not for me at all, but I'm a fan. I'm a fan. And I thought, stop saying I'm a fan, because if you don't like my sense of humor, you do not like me. And that's okay. But you yeah. can't have it both ways. And so it was really fascinating that's me. Perplexing. Wait, yeah. he was 70? I want to say he was in his Were 70s. Were you at a retirement home? Is this where this was? <laughs> Is that yes. why you don't want to say you hang out at a often, retirement home? I often go to retirement homes to try and get validation <laughs> from much older people. Were you in hospice? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it was an older gentleman. They're allowed to roam the earth. Are they? Yeah, they are. Yeah, not, not without guidance. Yeah. 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 So anyway, I, I just, I like that. Literally, on I spent the next, on the ride home, yeah. my, I'm in the car with my wife and I'm just saying, I like your sense of humor, not a f I, I mean, I don't like your sense of humor, big fan. Big fan, don't enjoy your comedy. And I, <laughs> I don't understand. Maybe he likes your height, your uh, hair. We did make out for a while. Oh, <laughs> he likes them juicy it. lips. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It, was, it was fantastic. <laughs>